Hi students in this session i'm going to teach you two simple tricks to solve questions from dalton's law applicable or not applicable uh, see uh, i'll show you some questions you might see in these type of questions see here dalton's law of partial pressure is applicable to see this gases again dalton's law of partial pressure is applicable to Dalton's law, the combination that obeys Dalton's law. See, students like this, they will give you different different combination questions, and they will ask you whether it is applicable or not. Then you will be having in a very difficult situation. Even though it is very easy question, you don't know how to solve this question, and uh, whether it reacts or not, whether Dalton's law applicable or not, you will be in a confusion. That's why in a today session, I am going to teach you two simple tricks. That's it, just two simple tricks. You If you keep these two simple uh, points, just simple points in your mind, you will be able to solve. In these half questions, I'll do. See how many questions are there? Half questions I will do. Half questions you, I'll make you to do. You only will do once you know the trick. You only will do every question on your own. First, I'll show you what is this uh, Dalton's law. In short, I'll teach you first about Dalton's law. Let's see. Uh, for example, one one gas is there A. its a pressure is pa partial pressure means its a pressure then b pressure is pb if you mix both then total pressure will be pa plus pb is the formula got it a a pressure is pa p b pressure is pb then total pressure is pa plus pb here what i want to tell you is this law is applicable only when these two gases should not react with each other if a reacts with b means it is not applicable p total is not equal to pa plus pb suppose how we will come to know ma'am whether it is applicable or not applicable see suppose these gases examples i am showing you co plus co2 no plus cl co plus cl2 these examples whatever i am showing here these are dalton's law not applicable why dalton's law not applicable because if you see ammonia reacts with hcl it forms ammonium chloride like that h2 reacts with f2 it forms hf so every uh, these and all reacts uh, so it forms a different product the temperature will be different that's why dalton's law not applicable He, these gases are reacting gases so if react if gases are reacting gases are reacting gases are reacting dalton's law not applicable if gases are not reacting dalton's law applicable so these gases are not reacting see co plus co2 no reaction n2 plus o2 no reaction h2 plus n2 no reaction these and all won't react applicable but fine ma'am how i should be able to identify whether these two reacts or not reacts that is your question right so now i am going to tell you an super technique see here trick number 1 trick number 1 o2 n2 helium argon carbon dioxide h2o methane these are very stable gases at room temperature and these are non reactive gases these are non reactive gases write in your notebook now itself you write o2 n2 helium argon co2 h2o ch4 these are non reactive gases fluorine and below elements like chlorine and all they are reactive co o3 volatile organic compounds oxidized nitrogen compounds like uh, volatile organic compounds like uh, benzene toluene and all but they don't ask you this question uh, mostly they you get a question like no no nox no y means like no no2 sulfur dioxide so2 h2s yes, hcl these are uh, reactive gases these are reacting gases reactive gases these gases reacts if these gases are there fluorine is there chlorine is there co is there o3 is there uh, volatile any organic compounds is there uh, no no2 so2 h2s hcl this you should remember you have to by heart it these examples and these examples you have to by heart it but 
again another super trick i am going to tell you uh, let us see the example for example see this one co and uh, uh, let's see this one first co co2 okay now co is reacting co is non reactive gas correct non reactive but co if you observe it is reactive gas so how to decide yes no this is non reactive example this is you will remember fluorine you remember chlorine you remember co o3 volatile compounds uh, no no2 so2 h2s hcl you remember fine but uh, co is reactive gas co2 is non reactive gas then wh what is the trick here is if one is reactive another one is non reactive means you have to consider that mixture is non reactive mixture only okay for example n2o2 n2 also non reactive gas see here o2 also non reactive gas so this mixture applicable h2n2 n2 is non reactive gas so any one non reactive means it is not uh, non reactive gas only uh, o2 non reactive okay fine so2 o2 uh, so2 is reactive gas example you see here so2 reactive gas example and o2 is non reactive gas if any one non reactive means non reactive only no2 and o2 this is no this is reactive but this is non reactive so any one non reactive means that mixture is non reactive mixture only if two gases are not reacting then dalton's law is applicable okay this is clear and now let us see these two now here is the logic super point i'm going to tell you all here the, now i'm going to uh, tell you these are the gases which are non reacting or okay, uh, reacting gases dalton's law not applicable before going to discuss this i'll tell you an excellent point co plus o2 no plus o2 super secret it is these two are the gases you see co is which type of gas students it is reactive gas this is non reactive correct and this is no is what uh, this is uh, reactive and this is non reactive so if this is there this mixture is non reactive mixture only if this is there this mixture is non reactive mixture this is as usual concept i told you but this is an exception this is an exception even though o2 is there in these two examples these two are reacting gases and dalton's law is not applicable co plus o2 no and o2 are exceptions now let us see co and o2 exception combination no and o2 exception combination now check remaining check remaining all here no is there so no and chlorine both are reactive gases dalton's law not applicable co and chlorine both are reactive gases dalton's law not applicable so2 uh, reactive gas and hcl also both reacts hcl and ammonia both reacts see this examples familiar common example is ammonia hcl so2 is reactive gas these two reacts okay uh, h2 and f2 uh, both reacts fluorine reacts correct only exception is these two remember these two even though oxygen is there these two are reactive gases and dalton's law not applicable that's it now let's start solving questions see with how much super speed you will do these questions hit on like okay if you able to do these questions hit on like question number 1 i'll take new page hmm dalton's law is uh, all of partial pressure is applicable applicable means what type of gas it should be it is should be non reactive gas non reactive non reactive if ammonia and hcl react to as i told you so not correct answer o2 is there means non reactive only but exception is uh, no and o2 co and o2 so it is also not correct answer as i told you so2 and cl2 both reacts with each other so this is also not correct and n2 and o2 both are non reacting gases that's it so you have to uh, you know remember those examples like uh, most familiar examples o2 n2 helium argon co2 h2o methane these are non reactive and fluorine below element co o3 uh, like no no2 so2 h2s hcl these are reactive gases 
if you know this also this exception most important co and o2 and mo and o2 now see here co and o2 reacts no and o2 reacts these two reacts and co2 and o2 it don't react these two don't react so they are asking which of the following mixture dalton's law not applicable means which reacts 1 2 3 this three will react so option 1 is a correct answer agree see the next questions take a screenshot i'll discuss in the next video solutions i'll give you you try solving next question take screenshot and try solving My name is Komali. I am your chemistry mentor. Thank you so much for watching this video. Try these questions. Definitely, you will like this trick. And uh, in the next video, I'll upload the solutions. Thank you so much.